Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You feel me? I ain't said nothing yet, but you feel me? That's TJ Maxx right there. Making a cameo. Anyway, what it is, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? Hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all, is having a bless. Day to day, man. Today, I'm kind of embarrassed. Not for myself, but for some of y'all in the sneaker scene, community, whatever you want to call it. I don't even, I don't even know if it's that. For so some of y'all out here that be buying shoes, put it that way. For some of y'all out here that be buying shoes, things get a little hypocritical, man. Things get a little hypocritical. You can't put fingers on who you talking about. You can't put a direct target on who you talking about because you have to do some research. You feel me? And by that, I mean, okay, number one, the Air Jordan 3 I'm I'm in there was fairly easy to get for me. I actually got two pairs on the way. I hit on the, uh, I hit on the, um, Ralph what they did online the EQL joint and I also hit on the um I got exclusive access on sneakers this morning I mean it was like 12 o'clock I didn't even know it was coming I ain't seen nothing about nothing on Twitter and I wasn't even paying no attention I was at work and I just happened to look at my phone and get a notification from sneakers and I was like oh I'm on near exclusive asset let's see got them like quick I mean the, one of the quickest dubs ever it took like 20 30 seconds maybe to get the dub but that's not that's not what I'm saying by I'm embarrassed, bro. Look, the shoe is fire. Put it that way. The shoe is fire. I don't care. If you like the first I'm I'm in there, Air Jordan 3, the white ones, you probably like this one too. Um, if you like the color scheme that uh James Whitner and the people, the design team use for I'm I'm in there, you probably like this shoe. But if you was just liking it because they were limited and they were selling out and the resale was high and they was hard to get. All of y'all are coming to light today, shouted. All y'all folk coming to light. I'm telling you, everybody, everybody who was was capped from the jump, y'all coming to light today, bro. We're doing a, we're doing a vlog today, too. We're gonna go on Athlete's Foot, see what's on sale. Um, it ain't just about the I'm on news that we talking about, but that's what I want to talk about at first. The amount of people that being that saying, oh, y'all can have them. Oh, them, them, them sitting. Uh, uh, them gonna cut, them, 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 them gonna collect dust and all that stuff. If that's your opinion of what's gonna happen with the shoe, that's cool. But I, I, I just feel like it's these same people. It might just be me, but y'all can comment and let me know. I feel like a lot of these same people, if this shoe was selling out and it was really, really putting up a fight and really hard to get, cause I done seen way worse pairs be super limited. And people act like, oh my God, man, I ain't winning. No, man, sneaker don't show no love, man. I ain't never won no raffle, man. They just lame in hell. They should make enough for everybody. All them folk right now. So it seems like some some of the same folks saying, oh, that's an easy pass. Because they easier to get. I don't know what the hell kind of quote unquote wanna be sneakerhead these folks here, man, but Stay at the game, bro. If you don't, if you want, if you don't want to buy the shoe because it's more accessible, it's easier to get. If you don't want to, if that's your reason for not wanting these, because because I've seen a lot of people, I even seen a lot of people canceling their pairs that they hit on exclusive access. I don't see people canceling their pairs, bro. And that's that's not a big deal. But why why I hit on two pairs? Now, granted, I'm not gonna keep both of them. I, I got the exclusive access. And I always like to pull the trigger when I have my exclusive access. I always like to go ahead and go for them when I got exclusive access. Whatever pair has the best quality is the one I'm keeping. The other pair is going back to Nike or I give them, I let somebody get them for retail. But it seems like hype is moving so much. Actually, hype, this hype ain't even mysterious no more. It's plain and simple to see if it has resale value, people want it. The, the masses want it. If it don't, People are quick to be like, oh, they ain't all that anyway. Oh, them trash, man. I'm like, what? It ain't too many people I heard to say that these threes was trash until they was easy. It's crazy because when people thought they were going to be limited, we know we taking L's. We know we ain't copping. We, we ain't going to get them anyway. When it was like that, people was like, I'm going to try for them. But now that it's a little bit more accessible, dudes and I like, Oh man, them, them ain't, I don't need them. I'm waiting on the black cement threes. That's all I'm here. I'm, I'm waiting. And like I said, if that's what you're saying and that's real, 
and that's coming from a real place, I feel you. But please don't be the same people that say all the other shoes that they drop, be like, man, I be taking L's, this and that, man, that, that, man. I can't win that, man. Man, they make them too limited. They need to make them for everybody because they made a lot of these. I feel like they made a lot of these. Either they made a lot of them or it might just fall into the category of how everything is sitting. You know what I'm saying? But usually collabs don't sit because usually collabs are limited. That's why I'm thinking they made more of them. But anyway, I got two pairs on the way. I can't wait to do the unboxing videos. Hopefully the shoes both arrive on the same day and I can do both shoes at the same day. Dang, GSP just pulled up. Not like GSP, bro. You don't know who GSP is. It's uh, Georgia State Patrol, bro. They, Georgia State Patrol, bro. They be on your ass, boy. You ain't even got to do nothing wrong, shot. I, I, I don't think I ever seen a GSP out here in, in this area, though. I'm in Conyers. I don't think I ever seen GSP. He must be off duty or something. Anyway, uh, anyway, but like I said, if anybody in the um in Rich Nation who actually hit on the I'm Amanir Air Jordan 3, uh, whether they hit on a raffle or whether they hit uh, in store or on just regular online because I heard it was a few pairs available online yesterday too or anybody who hit on sneakers today y'all come below and let me know the shoe is fire to me I ain't even, of course I haven't seen it in hand yet but from the packaging and the uh, actual shoe itself it's, it's, a, it's a hit for me it's a dog you know what I'm saying so anyway glad I got pairs on the way um, y'all tell me if y'all got pairs on the way but anyway just got off work like a jerk like Captain Kirk Make no whole twerk. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the athlete's foot is where I'm at. They be having stuff on sale in here. Um, when everybody else don't have stuff on sale, they always put their stuff on sale first. So I, it, momentarily, I like to go and see what they got in there um, every now and then. And then that'll be the video for today. So y'all come below by the Alma and let's see what they got at athlete's foot, man. Do it. So I must be very careful. I must be, y'all see me scratching the back of my head like I'm doing something. Yeah, I must be very careful. This is GSP right here. Georgia State Patrol, bro. Like, if you from Atlanta, Charlotte, I mean, maybe certain people, maybe like people who grew up in the suburbs or, or who can talk to the police in the way they want to and not get in trouble. Maybe y'all ain't afraid, but I, I, I get nervous every time I see that blue and orange. I get nervous, bro. And I don't even be doing that. I ain't got nothing illegal going on, but I done seen them. I done seen them in action. Anyway, the athlete's foot. You from Atlanta, you know about GSP, bro. The athlete's foot going on let's see what's on sale shout out all right this is a perfect pair for gsp i need to go show these the gsp standing over there bro because it, it's the same color his squad car what's the meaning of this though it's like some kind of mural or something these dots got the two oranges in the, the two blues got the upside down nike right there and i thought this was backwards this is backwards bro that's crazy y'all can tell me what's going on with these because I have zero clue. What are you talking about? Oh, athlete's foot. Y'all disappoint me. Y'all disappoint me, athlete's foot. I thought at least these reverse Oreos or whatever the hell they call these, I thought at least those would be on sale. But it's really nothing more new. I even thought these these Dune Reds, I definitely thought would be have a sale price on them by now. Still got uh, Shadow Lows for 109. But this pair right here is buttery. This pair right here is straight up butter. He you talking about? Like, look at that butter on them. Woo! Cleansed. I think soon these will probably be hitting that sale rack. These New Orleans Saints Air Jordan 1s. They're clean though, man. Clean as hell. Olympics, I'm pretty sure. I ain't going to say they. I'm sure they're going on sale. They take a little longer to put sixes on sale for some reason. I think they sell a little bit better. Because I thought those yellow ochres would definitely go on sale. And they end up selling out before they was even able to go on sale in the world, bro. So sixes might actually be selling a little bit better. I don't know. And they got these 11s up here. But when was the last time you seen a Jordan 11? I don't care whether it was a high or a low. When was the last time you seen a Jordan 11 sit this long? Rich Nation, let me know. Tell me. If y'all if y'all remember, tell me the last time you seen a Jordan 11 sit this long man other than the IEs because the IEs always sit and collect that dust tan y'all tell me what y'all think about the pan leather Jordan 11 low sitting I don't know boy Boss Nothing might have some competition with these boy I mean Boss Nothing is one thing but when they sit there and put their L bubble on these oh boy woof even the patent leather on the back of the shoe is off center, but where these is and I noticed a lot of these Jordan Nathaniels always had that same kind of shape that pointed toe which is crazy because a lot of the OG Jordans, when they came out in the 80s and stuff, they had a pointed toe, but they don't. They want to put a square round toe on all them shoes for some reason. I don't know. But these are, in fact, trash can. What? Huh? Speaking of both nothings, they got both nothings. Speaking of both nothings, they got these right here on sale for 150. Air Jordan 
uh, and the red ones too. Air Jordan, uh, Boss Nathaniel, aka uh, 678. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying my best to self edit through this Ja Rule song. This is Ja Rule and Ashanti they playing in the background, bro. Um, hope YouTube don't pick up on it. Man, they be killing me. This is like the last side, though, right here. There's the Air Atlanta Air Max 95 ATLs. $99. Seem like they they finally getting down to the last uh, sizes in these. Um, they had a big sale going on on those at, at the uh, outlet. But they pretty much going to the outlet too. This is a good scene. We got Olympic uh, up tempos, man. Scotty Pippen guys, the Olympic um, Nike up tempo. Uh, more up tempo, I should say. And they got sizes. When they got this many on the display, that means they got some sizes. I'm a, just because of the respect of the shoe and the classic nostalgia situation, it made me want to buy them. But is it just me or do they drop these shoes like every four or five years? Y'all come below and tell me. Because I, I feel like they just dropped these a few years ago. Anyway, super clean shoe. Uh, if they mess around and have these go on sale, your boy might be forced to do it. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of clump, clump, stumper, uh, air more up tempos, but um, this is a classic colorway, man. You feel me? Cleansed. And for everybody who's trying to push New Balance on, on your boy, tell me which ones you like. Is it any of these? Is it any of these? Everybody who's trying to push New Balance, New Balance, is it any of these? I have no idea. Jordan Jersey book bag. Authentic Jersey book bag is kind of clean on sale for 29. You feel me? What you doing with it? Honestly, though, this is the next shoe I'm expecting to go on sale. And I actually might get a pair. Um, if they do, Baron Air Jordan 1 Lowe's. Hundred dollars, your boy jump on him. Man, I gotta get out of here, man. I ain't gonna lie. GSP saw me recording the shoes. He looked like he wanted to enforce something. Y'all know how I, you know how I get when the when the uh, <laughs> authority figures get around your boy, man. They just for some reason they just want to show they stripes. You feel me? Pivot Sports. I don't know why I'm going. Every time I'm in this area, I just go to both stores. They barely have anything in this Hibbit Sports no more. Um, and that's crazy because this used to be the main little spot we used to come and camp out. To get Jordan drops, but um, back in the day, those were the days. Yeah, you talking about? They really wasn't the days, though. Let me, let me clarify that. But what they got going on with the Air Max 90s right here, bro? Boy, that is a lot of test or something like that. Heart rate, heart rate, heart pulse. What that is? They ain't bright and colorful. Are these women's? Uh, yeah, I guess it is. Cause look at the clothes. Yeah, I think these are women's. That's different, bro. Sometimes folk be doing too much, like uh, pro standard. Like y'all, y'all teetering, y'all really teetering on the flea market. Uh, <laughs> looking like yeah, just because y'all put these thick patches on it, don't make it hard. But and with the lightning strikes, like okay then, okay then, Chicago bull. All right. He would always had a fair share of Air Jordan and Nathaniel's last size 11 and the 12s. These lasted a little bit longer than I thought they would, but I knew eventually. Y'all was getting on me talking some. I thought the hood little 12. I thought they were gonna sell out eventually. They never went on sale, and they never went to the outlet. So, I mean, sellout is a sellout. It, it's an eventual sellout. It was a delayed sellout. You know what you're talking about? Um, but, yeah, ain't too much more going on in there, guy. You feel me? Got some KD. KD, uh, ain't these a new KD? 17s, man? Yeah. Peace up, eight time down. Your ski. That ain't what that mean, but that's what I'm going to say. I like this color, though. It's kind of creative, man. A little different, little, little tones for the for the court, man. You know what I'm saying? Hoop in. Hey, you talking about got some chrome going on? This is the 16 right here. Got some chrome vibes going on right there. I don't know. Hey, Nike, I don't think these I don't think these did what y'all thought they were going to do. I feel like Nike thought this was going to do a whole lot more. Like, I'm telling you, man, it's, it's a different scene right now. Back in 2016 or something, you would have got a bunch of hype beasts to, to, like, hype these up. Do y'all remember them element joints that came out years ago? Remember them? I'm telling you, with the right amount of hype, the right artist or somebody who would have wore a shoe back in the day. Just like they did them elements. When them element 85s or 55s, whatever the hell they were. Do y'all remember the hype around that shoe? That joint was crazy, bro. They even doing them in the Air Max Plus. Uh, colorways. I feel like they thought something similar, but that was like lightning in the bottle. That was just like right timing when that element shoe came out, bro. 
It's all crazy. And I never jumped on the wave and people were just like, wow, you need to get you a pair. They super comfortable. Did it? Man, I'm sure you can tear apart with your bare hands, man. Them elements, bro. Yeah, I remember. Bro, they got a whole Tupac collection in here. What's the name of their brand? Primitive. Got the whole Pac collection, bro. Get you a Pac shirt. Hey, you talking about? And they got a lot of the um, Vermeros going too. Like that, that, that did carry a little hype for a little while. You know what I'm saying? So, um, don't get it twisted, bro. When I say uh, hype. You know what I'm saying? Some had hype. That don't mean I was hyped about it. That don't mean it was me that was hyped about it. That mean as a collective, like the community, the sneakerheads, the... And I go by kind of a lot like... Then, the influencers kind of dictated what the hype was going to be back then. You know what I'm saying? In those years, when those, like when I was talking about the Element 85s came out, like... The first people I saw hyping those shoes up was like YouTubers. You know what I'm saying? Specific YouTubers hyping them up. Um... And, it, and I was, and I always thought like that what y'all like, like, and you know I ain't want to be, I ain't want to just be different, just to be different and be like I don't like that because everybody else like it. I was kind of more on some, all right, let me actually look at this shoe um, objectively and, and think, okay, do I actually like this shoe or not? And I just never, I never, I never got on the wave, man. So just like when NMDs and Ultra Boosts and all that were going crazy in the sneak community, it was actually reselling. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I tried because I was like, let me see what the hype is about. Y'all, y'all, If y'all look at some of my old vlogs, I tried some of these shoes on. Yeezys, 350, stuff like that. I tried some of this stuff on and I, I tried to give it a chance because I just wanted to, I didn't want to shut it down because I was just trying to be the 90s nostalgia Jordan Air Max person like I always am. I tried, I gave it a shot, but it, it went for me at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I never tried to just be like, act like I like it because everybody else did, you feel me? So at the end of the day, what have we learned today? Well, to me, I feel like we've learned that so-called sneakerheads are a lot like women. They don't know what they want. They really don't know what they want. And that's no knock to women because as we know, as me being married and being with this same woman for 20 years, I know women... They don't know what they want, shot. <laughs> I'll probably go get my head bust and my wife see this. But y'all know what I mean by that. Like, they might say they want one thing, but when they get that thing, they're going to be like, huh, that ain't really what I want. I want this thing. And that's what sneakerheads do, bro. I'm not, I don't, I don't feel like I fell into that category when it comes to this because I always want sneakers to be available. You know what I'm saying? But I said it in one video. And like I said, I, I, I stand by this too. Shoes being hyped, sh sneakers being sought after, people wanting shoes, shoes being the topic of conversation, I feel like that's good for the game. So a lot of times everything's sitting, it might, I ain't gonna say it hurt the game, but it might not have the conversation flowing as much. And them bringing back all these OGs that we, we, we don't have to want for anything no more. You know what I'm saying? All these OGs that they bringing back next year, people been wanting for years, we going to have them. And so, like I said, I don't know if that's going to be a good thing for the game. It's going to be a good thing for sneakerheads, people who actually genuinely want, genuinely want the sneakers to rock, put on feet, and just be clean with them and the shoe that they've been wanting forever, and they just finally get them in their collection. It's going to be good for those people. I don't know what it's going to do to, like, everything. But I, as far as sneakerheads, bro, so many people... Man, I can't never get no collab. Every time they drop a collab, boy, I can't never get it. Every time they drop a Travis, I can't never get it. Every time they drop a I'm Amanir, every time they drop a Off White, every time they drop this, I can't never get it. The Nike don't show no love. They don't make enough for everybody. I don't, like I said, I don't know what the production numbers is on this, but you getting it now. And then now people act like, oh, it's trash. A lot of people, it's trash. Oh, an easy pass. Like I said, it could be, it could be true to you, but um, speaking of production numbers, we were talking about them Nerf KDs. People told us oh, it was only 5,000 that dropped on uh, Sneakers app. I think it was way more than that. That might have been all they had on Sneakers app, but it was way more than that because the re it's so crazy. Yeah, future. Uh, <laughs> it's, just, it's just, dude, what do y'all really want? What do y'all really want? You want shoes to be readily available for everybody? Do you want these collabs and all these different sneakers that come out to be something that's attainable for you? Cause for the most part, Travis is still ain't. Travis, they still make all they they still make all his shoes super limited, bro. I have yet 
So we just walk in any boutique and just see a Travis sitting. I don't care what shoe it was. Maybe a GS. I don't even know if that's the case. But um, what do y'all think the best model is? Number one, there's two questions. Number one, what do sneakerheads really want? Or do I, are they like, do they not know what they want? You know what I'm saying? And then number two, what's the what's the best strategy? What's what's the, what's the best thing for the game? For sneak for every sneaker to just be readily available, or for it, some stuff that actually builds some hype, just so it can keep the 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 the, the culture and the in the the game going, like the the thrill of the hunt. Because to a certain extent, you appreciate a shoe a little bit more, just a little bit, not a whole lot, when you have to. You know what I'm saying? Jump through a couple of hoops to get it. When you have that, when it's too easy, you you take it for you take it for granted when it's too easy to get. I just got two pair of my manias. I'm not taking it for granted because I remember when I got four pairs of shattered back boys in 2015, and I took it for granted because like, oh man, people want to offer me 350 for these. You can 350, you can have them. I paid one. Wait, what was it retail? 160. Y'all can get them. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta appreciate what you get, man. You appreciate your dubs, bro. Appreciate your dubs because who knows? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I don't know. I'm honestly thinking, I wouldn't be surprised. Let's put it this way. It might not happen this way because of how the trajectory of everything going now, it don't, it feel like stuff is just going to be available. You're just going to be able to go to the mall and get your shoes if you want pairs. Uh, but I'm thinking just maybe, I wouldn't be surprised if all those OGs that we want that's coming out next year that we looking forward to, that we think we just finna finally be able to get in our collection, I wouldn't be surprised if they make a lot of those limited, bro. The only way, reason I don't think they're going to be limited because we know about it already. A lot of times we know about a shoe so far ahead of time, it's going to be a super general release. Most time when they do a Jordan 11, you'll know about it a whole year before the shoe come out. We've been knowing about these Columbia 11s like a whole year before. And that's why I think that shoe is going to be a plethora of general release. You feel me? But um, what's, this, what's the next shoe coming out? Uh... The Jordan 4 Thunders, that's going to be a perfect test too because anytime we get any kind of thunder, red thunder, regular OG thunder, anytime we get that type of shoe, even though the Lightning 4 is set, any kind of we get a thunder, that that black new buck against that other color, they pretty much sell out. Red thunders and then regular thunders, they was gone. You know what I'm saying? So these white thunders, man, if they do sit, y'all know I'm going to do a mall vlog Saturday. If they do sit, I don't think they're going to make it through the whole weekend. They definitely won't make it through the week. But there are pairs available. I just looked at, I did okay, Bob, I got exclusive access on JD Sports at about 9 o'clock, I would say. By the time 12 hit, it was still pairs all the way up to size 11 and a half. My 12 was gone. So... I think when I do that mall vlog that day, I'm going to see pairs, but I don't know how long it's going to last. Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think, man. About any of these conversations I've had on this video today, comment below and tell me what y'all think. As always, I appreciate y'all for watching. Thumbs up this video, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them and keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Yeah, yeah. Watch me go scoop a ladera Check out my kiss in apparel Rich like a king of fairy, yeah Yeah, Air Capitan, they callin' me jet like I'm Sparrow Straight up. East Atlanta in my blood The streets got me twin like Tia to Mary, yeah Watch how I wear the Camaro Stay out my lane, it's too narrow God more, God more, stay in bless I'm keeping my eye on the Sparrow Man of the people you did, they singin' my name Just like it's a carol Cause my got the juice by the berry, yeah I can't really help it, bro, they know that I'm the ish, yeah